Hello, hello, Mordimers here, and welcome to another game from Tata Steel Chess uh, Masters Tournament in Vegan Z 2020. Uh, today I'm gonna cover one more game from round four, and this time between Vladislav Artemiev. Uh, his ranking is 2731. Warm welcome, he's gonna play as white. And his opponent is Vladislav uh, Kovaliev, um, 2660. Uh, Grandmaster from Belarus, also warm welcome for the player of uh, black pieces. Now, uh, two cents about Vladislav Artemiev. He is considered as a chess prodigy and he born in 1998. That means he is only 22 years old and already got the ranking above 2700. And, um, Alexander Grishuk stated that uh, Artemiev uh, is a successor of a retired Vladimir Kramnik in the Russian team. So um, definitely a strong player and of course favorite of this game. Uh, what do we know about Vladislav Kovaliev? Uh, he is from Belarus and uh, in the last uh, Tata Steel, he played, but not in the Masters tournament, he played in Challengers tournament, and he won that tournament very easily. He scored 10 out of 13, uh, winning seven games and drawing only six games. So this is why he now can play in the Masters in 2020. Let's jump to the board and see what happened. White opens with d4. We have knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, and bishop on b4. So we have Nimzo Indian um, defense and uh, Artemiev play bishop on d2. So um, not the most popular, any of the most popular lines, but uh, definitely uh, this knight is not no longer pinned, so um, that's the, some players uh, prefer this way of playing. Uh, and now we have uh, castle by Kovaliev, knight f3, b6, uh, and e3, uh, d5, but by Kovaliev, and rook c1. So developing a rook um, on this maybe uh, open file in the future. We have bishop on a6, um, attacking this uh, pawn twice, and we have queen a4, defending. And we have c5, uh, defending the attacked uh, bishop. So there are some uh, interesting tactics here, um, both sides should be uh, pretty careful. For example, now RTMF plays c on d5, and as you see, this bishop is attacked twice, so bishop takes on f1, we have rook on f1, uh, so white can't um, castle, but also can easily move the, the king on uh, e2, as uh, black cannot uh, attack it easily without a light square bishop. We have e takes on d5 by black, so opening this uh, this file for the attack on the king. We have king e2 and knight bd7. We have rook f to d1 by Artemiev and queen e7. Uh, king f1, so it's better to stay, you know, far from the uh, far, far from the center. King, of course, can be targeted um, in the uh, incoming attack. Uh, we have rook f to c8, so taking also um, the advantage of um, preparing for, you know, opening the c file. And we have queen on a6, so uh, white try to maybe infiltrate or maybe block the uh, gameplay of black on the queen side and that's because uh, if black decide to move the pawns um, they're gonna have advantage three pawns against two pawns um, so not really a comfortable situation for now uh, that can be done uh, we have queen on e6 by Kovaliev we have knight e2 opening this diagonal now and um, in this position, Kovaliev decided to exchange mm, the bishop. And uh, Artemiev would just play a rook on d2 
and after knight e4 uh, double the rooks on um, on the c file uh, but he decided to take it by knight we have queen on f5 so moving this knight uh, gives the kovaliev opportunity of trying to you know uh, make some attack on the on the weekend f spot uh, but we have h3 so now the uh, knight cannot be moved there we have knight f8 so bringing another knight um, to the game centralizing uh, maybe have some ideas with moving it around there and maybe uh, some ideas of attacking and now we have knight go back on to f3 so uh, this knight definitely belongs to f3 as a defending piece important defending piece so Kovaliev just retreat the queen to d7, but that uh, let Artemiev get uh, to e5 uh, with tempo. So knight on e5 and queen found his spot on c7. We have a king on g1, so, um, you know, playing safely and um, very solid. And we have knight on e6 as planned. Rook c2, preparing to um, double the rooks. And now we have rook a to b8. And idea is to push the pawn and get some advantage on the queen side because um, it's possible that uh, Kovaliev could maybe get some, you know, pawn storm on this side. But we have queen on b5. So Artemiev decide to block this um, this pawn that the pawn can't be moved Kovaliev play a6 um, temporary sacrificing the the pawn and uh, Artemiev just took it um, by the queen we have rook on a8 and queens retreat to d3 rook takes on a2 so uh, now you know the a file is um, fully operational and black can control um, the only open file at this moment we have queen on f5 so um, getting the uh, queen to more attacking and um, active pos position we have rook c to a8 so double the doubling the rook on the a5 we have knight c3 important move because knight c3 uh, actually let um, let white to control the important square uh, a2 uh, so black can't can't play on the second rank here we have rook on a1 trying to exchange the uh, the rooks and rtm uh, said okay we can exchange the the rook but on d1 uh, how about that and here kovaliev play c takes on d Four. We have e takes on d4 and rook exchange on d1 as planned. Rook takes on d1. Uh, and as you see, uh, black has nothing to do on this open file because uh, this knight control the a2 square and this rook controls a1 square. So um, the rook is moved to e8. We have knight f3. Uh, and here we have queen c4 so Kovaliev tried to be as active as possible and now we have g4 uh, so Artemiev tried to you know attack uh, make some complications here and let's see how that's gonna um, progress we have h6 so uh, giving some space for the king but and of course controlling g5 h4 uh, doing the same uh, continuing the attack so now g5 is definitely possible uh, kovaliev play queen on b3 so at this moment the b2 pawn is attacked so uh, rook d2 defending that uh, pawn and now we have b5 so definitely black also try to do some counter attack and we have g5 as planned h takes on g5 h take on g5 um, and here kovaliev uh, played the, the first inaccuracy uh, the best continuation for him would be just bravely go on b4 and um, it looks like white can mount some um, dangerous attack but i have after g takes on f6 b takes on c3 and the rook is under attack 
uh, white would have to take on a c3 there is uh, really nothing better here uh, so would have to take a queen c3 uh, and now f takes on g7 knight on g7 attacking the queen so queen moves to f4 defending ex giving extra defense to um, to the rook on d2 queen c1 king g2 uh, queen b1 now bringing defender on this important diagonal and uh, after knight e5 attacking very strong attack on the uh, on the f7 black would have resources as this queen can go on f5 uh, queen g3 and the game would be equal uh, very symmetrical um, nothing really can be done here uh, probably players would have to um, agree for a draw uh, but Kovalev play knight on h7 and it doesn't uh, lose the game but first of all uh, it led white to take the pawn on d5 so uh, white is ahead one pawn we have g6 um, so trying to kick the queen from f5 and we have knight on f6 with check knight takes on f6 and queen uh, has to take on f6 of course it would be beautiful uh, to play some mating ideas but uh, queen is um, under attack so uh, the knight has to be taken by the queen and now we have queen d5 so centralizing the queen we have rook on e2 and in this position black could probably play any move like rook actively on a8 or uh, on c8 or or you know even f8 would be would be even better uh, but kovalev choose so let's say for example rook f8 king g2 knight g7 for example there is a line like queen f4 knight h5 uh, queen e4 queen d6 that's that's just one of the lines which uh, gives black some uh, interesting ideas uh, and maybe some attacking chances but in this position uh, Kovalev actually play rook on d8 so very safe move and he decided to making safe move um, because he is low in time he has 30 seconds and still have two moves to done uh, before he get additional minutes uh, in the time control now is the move 39 and Artemiev also has only one minute to make this uh, last move and uh, th this is why maybe it's quite interesting and as I told you uh, this rook could go um, to f8 everything would be fine um, the rook could go also to uh, a8 and c8 as well uh, but d8 is not really best uh, spot and it looks like safe yeah it's defended by the queen and is defended by the knight so very solid also defending the queen here and uh, what can go wrong in this position so uh, now feel free to pause the video and find the winning combination for white okay while i enjoy my cup of tea <sighs> okay are you ready so if you found a knight on e5 then black actually can play very simple knight on d4 attacking your rook and also defending f7 so um, that's not the move we are looking for but if you found rook takes on e6 and sacrifice the exchange that's the correct way to go because now uh, black can't take by the by the queen because the rook is under attack so if this rook is anywhere else this tactic would not work uh, and now black has to take uh, f takes on e6 and now we have knight on e5 and now everything is okay with that move because we have the uh, mating ideas uh, queen can go on f7 and once the king is moved to uh, h8 
this knight can deliver a checkmate on h8. So uh, black has to do something. Um, for example, um, rook d7. That would be one of the you know tries of the defense. But queen g6 check. King f8, king h8, of course, um, doesn't work uh, for the same reasons. Uh, so king f8, and now we would have knight d7. Very simple uh, chess, queen d7, queen f6, king g8, and g6, queen e8. And this is very passive position for, for black. Uh, white would just bring the the king and they win the game and once the uh, queens are exchanged even in cost cost of one uh, pawn then white can easily win because the the king gonna be uh, closer to the center and with one extra pawn uh, the winning would be uh, very easy uh, but Kovalev decided to play rook on f8 and actually uh, rook on f8 uh, lose um, probably quicker because queen takes on g6 check king h8 and queen h6 played by Artemiev, king g8 going back and knight on g6 now and in this position Kovalev just resigned the game he has uh, completely nothing to do so for example now there is a threat of forking and there are some mating ideas um, but uh, for example queen d8 if moving the queen uh, knight f8 just exchanging um, all the pieces and once everything is exchanged uh, white can easily win uh, with two extra pawns simplification at its best so yeah this is why after knight on g6 um, Kovalev actually resigned the game and uh, yeah today we have round five so I'm gonna cover one or two more games if you are interested in some particular players just let me know in the comments uh, who would you like to see and if you like this video you know push the like button if you don't like this video push on like and I'm waiting for your comments and I, I read them all I enjoy all of the comments and um, yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one